Hey there YouTube fans, how you going? <clears throat> Alright, there's uh, your Save Sinner 71 here are looking a little bit thinner. About time too. Now why? Um, I've lost about 7 kilos, which is about 13-14 um, pound, I think about 14 pound. And it's all due to intermittent fasting. So what I do is eat um, pretty clean as much as I can for one day and then the next day don't have anything except maybe a coffee without any sugar and water up until about four o'clock at night so nothing for breakfast nothing for lunch and then after about four o'clock um, then I start to eat and I, I pretty well eat until I'm um, I control my eating but try and eat until I, I'm satisfied. Now that's probably against some of the other intermittent fasting diets out there but that's working for me for now. What I'm trying is when I do actually eat I'm gonna do the Mediterranean diet but of course I try and have whole grain pasta a little bit as well not a lot of pasta or anything like that. Um, now. A couple of books have given me this crazy idea. Don't worry about all the mess behind me. Um, I've got to thank Dr. Jason Fung, who's the author of The Obesity Code. There it is down the bottom. Um, for his intermittent fasting advice. And Dr. Lustig, his book Fast, Fat Chance, he's the guy that always speaks out about sugar. Now these are both available on Amazon, I would say. I think, think that's where I got this one from. Um, why, also, why, I'm, why am I doing intermittent fasting and not anything else? Uh, one of my doctors, and I've suspected this as well for a while, talked about metabolic syndrome, whether I have metabolic syndrome. I've, I've had problems with blood sugar for sure. And I've asked him to test the insulin, the morning fasting insulin, and it came back very, very high. So it was 54 where, where it's supposed to be between 5 and 20, 20 if you're fasting off the top of my head. But 54 is right up there. And so why? What's going on? Um, my body is just continually putting out lots of insulin to try and keep the blood sugar down and it's keeping it in the normal range very good well done mr body but to do that it's pumping out all this insulin and the second function of insulin is to store fat so it's really really hard to lose weight when you're insulin resistant so that's what i'm trying i'm very tired because i'm back in the gym what i'm doing is uh, i try to exercise every day every couple of days at least several times a week at least an hour so whether that's walking or gym now on the days that I fast I seem to have more energy it's very very counterintuitive and and the, Dr. Fung said that that would happen now um, on those days I'm going to gym and working out and I worked out my legs yesterday and I was leg pressing 230 kilos. I used to be a bodybuilder. So um, I think in pounds you're looking at about 500 pounds. I was leg pressing. Um, so that's it. Insulin resistance. Um, it responds to diet and exercise and also uh, to fasting. So I'm trying all of those things. Um, my skin seems to have gotten better. I've had problems with my um, feet and my shins. And uh, on the days that I fast, I have a lot of energy and that feels better. But still, I'm a long, long way to go. I need to lose another, minimum another 40 kilos. Now, one of my doctors doesn't think I can do it, but uh, I would like to prove him wrong. My battery is saying it needs to be charged. That's not normal for me, by the way. I normally always charge things. I was a cameraman for 18 years. So um, so I hope this has helped somebody. And if you like this video, please 
uh, give us the like, the thumbs up, and uh, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. God bless.